The Goodwood Cup is next. A two mile group one, of course. Born triple at the top for Paul Rhodes. The red hot favourite, homeless Craig Beckwith, dubious Debbie. Joshua Southern and Rocky Mountain Desert Vintage Gerard, Scandinavia, Paul Rhodes and Tax Court, Leon Van Rensburg. Just six of them. And for a man who is constantly banging on about wanting realism in this game, maybe be careful what you wish for because we're away and racing and we've got six runners in the Goodwood Cup, which is probably what you'd get really. And Dubious Debbie has gone off into the lead, leading by two. To Scandinavia and Rocky Mountain Desert, then Born Trippy. He's back in fourth, just probably moving to third now. Then Tax Court and Homeless. Todd Morgan used to be great in these races, so where's he in this? And where's Graham Clutterbuck? He plundered all those handicaps, but come on, Gray, you must have something that can go in these long distance group ones as well. It's time to tilt at a few windmills, mate. There's Dubious Debbie in front from Scandinavia in second. Homeless third, and then Tax Court, Rocky Mountain Desert, and Born Trippy. The problem is there are too many other opportunities for these horses. There's loads of long distance races this week, and really anything that is close to being a group horse should have to run in this this week. Shouldn't have all the options of going into all those other races. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm just going to alienate everybody by spouting off in these commentaries, but. It's like, they've got to do something because it's like, it's just too easy for the top trainers with the top horses to plunder race after race after race. There's too many group races, too many opportunities for them. Make them run in handicaps, giving their weight away. Make them run against each other in this. Joshua Sutherland, Vinnie Gerard, Leon van Rensburg, they should all have two runners in this because they've got two runners capable of running over this distance in their stable. And they want to run them, but they've got other opportunities to run them in. To cut the races back, we need to cut the season back. I've got a crazy idea of trying to work out a schedule for an eight-week season or something because it, it's just oh, there's 43 races this week. It's crazy. Cubius Debbie's in the lead. Scandinavia second. Rocky Mountain Desert is third. Tax Court fourth, Homeless fifth, then Born Trippy last. Group one race at Goodwood. One of the cup races, and nobody's got two runners in it. Previous Debbie in front from Scandinavia second, Rocky Mountain Desert is third, then Tax Court fourth, Homeless is fifth, and Born Trippy is the back marker. They're coming down towards the final four furlongs. Dubious Debbie in front, Homeless second, Born Trip is going to have to get going soon, maybe it could be a bit on the sharp side for him. And it's Dubious Debbie in front from Homeless second, Rocky Mountain Desert, then Tax Court, Scandinavia, Born Trippy. He's still got a lot of work to do to get anywhere near the lead here, and Dubious Debbie continuing to lead, Homeless is in second, Tax Court is third, Scandinavia is in fourth, then Rocky Mountain does it. Born Trippy is not picking up, and in fact, he's dropping away. Born Trippy is beaten, he's out of it. It's Dubious Debbie in the lead, and as I hit the final third, Dubious Debbie in front. Homeless is in second. Scandinavia is in third. Rocky Mountain is going to try and get the inside with nowhere to go, but this is going to be Dubious Debbie, a dubious race indeed. Dubious Debbie takes it easily from Rocky Mountain Desert. Homeless was after that one, and well, a pretty soft group one win there. To be honest, I mean, that was the opposition. Dubious Debbie just went out in the lead and just won. Dubious uh, Debbie takes it. Joshua Sutherland won't care. That's another good winner for him. Rocky Mountain is at second for Vinnie Gerard. Homeless was third for Craig Beckwith. Scandinavia fourth for Paul Rhodes. And Tax Court for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. And Born Trippy was the last one to finish right at the back. Look at the ratings of those horses. It's 